Hey everybody, it's your pal Ron Howard from Extreme Sequences, and this is Monday Minute. Forever and ever, I have loved the tools check sequence because it's been invaluable. Tool check sequence. And look what it gives you, so much information. But over the years, with many more options available to the software, it has also gotten a bit cluttered. And so when you just want to get to the meat of the matter, just find out exactly what's going on. I don't know if you want to see all this because some of this might be pointless for you. So how do you turn it off? Well, it's easier than ever. You go to your preferences. You go to this brand new section right here called Check Sequences. Check it out. And now you can disable anything you like. For me, disabling the custom model size checking, the transition time checking, because there are times I have transitions that are super tight not on, on, and sort of on top of each other, and it works, but XLice doesn't think it does, but it does. Just trust me. Disable checks for duplicate nodes in group models. Yes, because sometimes they need to be duplicate nodes in model groups. That's the secret of doing group level sequencing, at least the way I do it. And what do I know? I've only been doing it seven years. Disable checks for groups containing models with different previews. That one might be important to have. Disable checks for non-contiguous channels on control reports. That might be important to have. Disable checks on duplicate use of universe IDs across controllers. Yeah, that might be important. But these last three for me, I think are just gonna put less binary code on a page that I don't necessarily need to see. So I do appreciate that this feature is here. So go forth, deselect, select at will, and I hope it works out for you. That's it. This has been Monday Minute.